Welcome to Series 5 of NCHLT's Lift Tours. Starting from today, Lift Tours will jump all the way from Standard Definition 480p to Ultra High Definition 2160p. There will also be more detailed explanations of lifts. To reflect the higher production standard, this episode will be narrated by Michal M. Here is a tour of the lifts at the Centre MK in Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes itself feels like an American tried to design a British city and this was the result. This sign inside of the shopping centre certainly doesn't help. First off, the 1990s Express Evans lifts modernised by Stanner in 2021 in Marks & Spencer. The voice in this lift is the Dewhurst voice and it only has floor announcements. These lifts are also extremely busy, so the footage for these lifts is quite short. Second floor. Now to the temple installed Kleeman lift in Boots. This lift has a slightly dodgy voice which announces the door closing message twice. Doors closing. Doors closing. First floor. Doors opening. Doors closing. Doors closing. Now on to TK Maxx, which has a rather unusual advanced lift with a lift technic indicator and possibly controller. Sadly, there is no please mind the doors voice. Primark has some extremely efficient Kone monospaces complete with advanced door opening.
Next, rather unsurprisingly, has an Oakland. There used to be a second next over at Midsummer Place, occupying a former Debenhams, which had a pair of Otis 2000 VF lifts. However, this has now closed down. To see a video of these lifts, click the annotation or the link in the description. Mind the doors. Now we go into John Lewis. Originally, there were a pair of scenic 1990s hydraulic Conne TMS lifts with a Conne slap-on mod. These lifts were replaced with a pair of Otis Gen 2s in 2012. These Gen 2s have a unique voice, in that the floor announcements are from the older voice, and the door announcements are the newer voice. Usually, it's the other way round, or it's just the new voice. The lift to the cafe is a non-scenic 1990s hydraulic Conne TMS. This lift was modernised in 2022 by Otis and it features Vega fixtures and landing indicators. <laughs> Now to the car park lifts, which are some Kone monospaces. Despite being in the car park, they have a relatively nice interior, in good condition. Thank <laughs> you. 
And now to the new H&M store, which has never been filmed before. This store has an MP lift installed by Pickerings. The old store was located in Midsummer Place and had a 90s Stano midi lift. Doors are closing. This lift is moving up. This lift is moving down. Floor zero. Doors opening. Now to the lift in River Island. There is an LCD indicator on the lift and despite being switched on was displaying a black screen. It's not flickering in real life. That's all of Centre MK, so let's revisit Midsummer Place. Has anything changed since the 2021 lift tour? Let's find out. The lift in Zara is a Crown Lifts hydraulic. It features a Centergate announcement that goes, Mind the doors. Doors closing. Mind the doors. Doors closing. Waterstones has had its handlebars repaired, but otherwise the lift remains identical. Okay. 
The main lifts of the Midsummer Place are a pair of Morris Vermaport lifts, which replaced some Otis 2000 VFs. In the 2021 lift tour, only the right-hand lift was working. The left-hand lift was in the process of being replaced. Both lifts are now in operation. being synthesized in real time because it sounds different every time I listen to it. As a bonus, here is the main lift at the Xscape Center. It is a rare Schindler Myconic with D-series fixtures. Sadly though, this lift has been modernized since this recording. Here is the overall score of this lift tour. From now on, each lift tour will get a ranking out of 5, dependent of the quality of lifts. Thanks for watching.